In this video, I'll show you how to calculate standard error of the mean and why it's important. To understand why we need and use the standard error, we turn to the central limit theorem. Let's start with a scenario. Suppose you draw a sample of 40 heights from the population of students in your school. So you randomly select 40 students from your school and you calculate their height and find the average height to be, let's say, 65.6 inches. Then you select another 40 students at random and you find that their average height is 69.3. And finally, you do one more draw of 40 students and you find that their height happens to be 72. So to denote each of these, this would be x bar 1, x bar 2, and x bar 3. This collection of x bars now has a frequency distribution of its own, which is called the x bar distribution, with its own mean and standard deviation. Think about it. I can now find the mean of the means and find the standard deviation of the means. Now we ask, how is the x bar distribution related to the original distribution? In other words, if I find the mean of the means and the standard deviation of the means, how is this different than if we were to pick all of the students in the population and find their average and their standard deviation? To answer this, we need a statistical theorem called the central limit theorem. And this is what the central limit theorem states. The first thing that it states is that if we were to take the means of these means, it would be the same as the mean for the entire population represented by mu. So the average of the averages would represent the average of the entire population. Now there's a proof to this theorem which you can research on your own. And the next thing that this theorem states is that if we took the standard deviation of the means, the standard deviation of the distribution here is equal to the standard deviation of the whole population divided by the square root of the sample size divided by the square root of the sample size. And the standard deviation of these means is called the standard error. And finally, the last thing this theorem states is that for a large sample, let's say over 30 or so, the x-bar distribution is approximately a normal distribution, even if the population itself from which the samples were drawn is not a normal distribution. Therefore, to put that in words, x bar distribution is normal. And this helps us understand the difference between standard error and standard deviation. The standard error is simply the standard deviation of the sample means, whereas the standard deviation of the sample is the degree to which individuals within the sample differ from the sample mean. And there you have it. That is how to calculate standard error of the mean and why it's important.